Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to I Want to Go Bananas. It's been a little bit since we've visited I Want to Be the Guy. I thought I'd mix it up, get back into this. This game was just recently updated, so now it actually has a medium mode. Before it didn't. But first, we're going to play on easy. This game's pretty short on easy. We can just run through it and then we will go to medium mode. There you go, done. Clear time of six seconds. Applause well deserved. One second for each hand. Okay. <laughs> so I've been kind of sort of speedrunning this, sort of. Um, as you can see, I'm able to beat this game on medium in just under an hour. So let's hopefully get, well, nah, we're not going to go for a better time because I'm going to be showing off different traps and stuff. So this should be just a kind of relaxed playthrough. Wait, what? Why am I, why am I over here? I'm stuck in the... This isn't right. Okay, hold on. It says we already have all of the secrets. I guess that carries over for every save file. But uh, I can... I can point out where all the secrets are in case you want to go for them. So here we go. New fan game. Probably not going to die so much in this because, like I said, I have been speed. Well, never mind. <laughs> if a simple thing like that can kill me, then I think I'm in for a lot of deaths tonight. But I know all of the traps now. I've ran through this three, maybe four times. I am still going to die a fair bit, at least on some parts. Because there are some parts in this game that are pretty rough. Not this first world, though. This first world takes, like, I don't know, two minutes if I'm not doing terribly. Which I'm doing terribly. <laughs> Got these hybrid apples, I don't know how to deal with it. It's like half apple, half banana. And springs. I don't like this game's springs very much. Especially in the last level. It's like they weren't coded properly, but... We'll worry about that when the time comes. This might look a little smooth-ish now, but pretty sure I died to all of these traps. Like this one. A troll cloud. It's kind of a tricky jump to make here. Jumping between these baby spikes. There we go. And like that. Nope. I think I deserve to be squished by a tree. Since I didn't make that jump. It'll be like right on the edge. And if you're just like anywhere in the air, that tree doesn't kill you. I don't know how that works. I'm still doing okay. The end of the level is right there. And we are just above the two minute mark. Wee! I have become fireworks. <laughs> I think you're supposed to like go around and land on the edge up there, but I I just do this and that works out better. That's actually probably one of my favorite traps in this game, and perhaps all of fan games. <laughs> Because a lot of games are made with Game Maker Light like that, so that logo is always up in that corner. So it's really kind of clever to use that as a trap. Definitely didn't expect it. Boss number one. This boss is actually kind of annoying. I don't really care much for it. Especially when I don't get my double jump. So there's usually a lot of debate in the I Want to Be the Guy world about just what kind of fruit those are. Um, be it apples or cherries or as I want to be the guy calls them, delicious fruit. <laughs> Which doesn't really help. But in this fight, it's pretty clear, I would say. Hopefully I can wrap this up. Die, apple! So yeah, you can see why that's annoying. All that apple juice all over the screen. But there you go, world one. They should, oh wait, I didn't show the secret. All right. Well, you just start the world, and then you just go over here, and the secret is up in this area. 
And what's good about that is once you finish a level, you can just push pause. And then you can press backspace to go back here. So you can finish all the worlds and then go back through and uh, just grab the secret and get out. Which I find works pretty well. Now we have like a monster tree. I thought I just killed you on touch, but I guess not. So welcome to Minecraft. This has a pretty annoying jump in it. Which on hard mode you have to do two times in a row. Which is pretty damn annoying. It's right here though. I found you can like run up against this block, but the block above it and the ones up there will kill you, so... It's a pretty tricky gap to make it through. Because the hitbox isn't really clear at all. You just get a little bit like... No, not like that. And then when you die, you have to run all the way back. It's annoying. I really don't like this jump. <laughs> Definitely the worst thing in this chapter. There we go. But there's a jump later on that I don't care for. I I usually do okay on it, but it's just really daunting, and I really <laughs> I get nervous every time. So we touch the rose, and then those spikes go away. So we have to get back up there again. And I'll show this off. So that's fun. To avoid that, just simply jump over the tree. Now if we make that jump again, we should be okay. Unless I forgot to touch the rose. Which I did, of course I did. Watch, I'll make it. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> now when it counts, I'm not going to be able to do it. At least the music's relaxing. Just kind of strolling through the world of Minecraft. Getting killed by apples and giant dragons. And not being able to make the jump when it counts. I like this game though. This game's kind of neat. It's short and it's varied. There are five different worlds and each one is pretty different. Especially world three. Three is definitely unique and uh, before this update it was very broken. At least the boss of it was. Like, broken to a comical effect. It's still not perfect. Uh, it's still going to be somewhat broken, but not annoyingly so. Now for the secret for this world, which I actually find is the easier way of doing things. You just jump over here. And the secret is up here, I believe. So we could have gone through normally. Like, well, I can't get back there now, but down that waterfall type thing and uh, avoid other nastiness there. I forgot about that. <laughs> Glad that happened to me so I could show that off. You square cactus is too strong. Too prickly. Can we make it over the cactus? Nope. Oh, over the cactus. There we go. No, that one moves. You're supposed to move. These cacti. No joke. There we go. Alright. Now we have some frightened villagers. And some dangerous crops, apparently. This is the reason why they are scared. There are zombies about. And then if we kill a villager, this golem guy is not too happy about it. So we have to be pretty careful. I just kind of spam for a bit, and then take it slow. Now everyone's okay. Give me the key. Avoid this nastiness. Sorry about sending your crops into space, but uh, you know, it's dangerous. What if there's kids running around? That golem's not going to be very happy about that. Here's the jump I was talking about, the one I really don't like right here. And you have to make it twice, like so. Yeah, see, had to choke when it mattered again. Normally, I'm okay with that jump. But I just, when I look at it, it's like, eh, I don't want to do that, especially not two times in a row. 
We're doing okay though. Not even 10 minutes in yet. All right, this time we got this. Careful. Jump small, jump small. You like? What's up? Yeah. All right. On to the boss of this world. And then we can move on to three. It seems like the last world, world five, is both like a grade more difficult and longer than all the other worlds. So it may seem like we're getting through this pretty quickly, but that last world's gonna take a while. I'm not sure what this thing's supposed to be. Three-headed floating something of Minecraft Steve. It's not too tough though. It's just annoying if he keeps doing that attack over and over again. Ah, the Steve heads. Gotta wait for him to do this every time. I rarely ever die to this attack. <laughs> Except for when I start talking about it. It's not gonna happen again. Just a foolish error on my part. <sighs> I don't like this boss. Not really. It's because he uses this attack too much. You just have to sit here and wait. Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay, that was pretty easy. Almost got him. I was looking at his health. Damn it. to get spammy on him. Nah, it's foolhardy. 